Breakfast with Cobb Colvin. Trickstar Radio. Right then, 22 minutes past eight here. Trickstar Radio. We're live inside the building. Cold Deep Records join us this morning for a full-length interview. We're looking at everything uh, from the creation of the label to uh, how, how projects come together um, and anything specific we're talking about. So um, what I want to kind of look through here very specifically. Um, first of all, who do we have in the building? We've been joined by someone new. Not hungry. Oh, he's very, uh, he's tired, isn't it? Eight's not usually his time in the morning. Yeah, so I, don't usually, I don't usually get up past, yeah, no, no, <laughs> I get up at 10 or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Well, thank you, thank you for uh, getting up a bit earlier today for, um, for oh, this. Yeah, yeah. Absolute pleasure to have everyone in. Um, it's been an enjoyable conversation so far. Um, obviously looking into the kind of, uh, the kind of roots of everything and the sort of DIY nature that's kind of come through everything and, and behind everything. Um, it's something I'm very much appreciative of my, myself. I really do kind of feel that that kind of DIY approach to doing anything in sort of, in UK music always breeds better results in the long run. Yeah, definitely, man. Um, so, uh, what I want to look at here is what specifically, um, do you guys do differently when it comes to releases? We're visual, man. We're like, obviously, we've got our guy here, my hungry. Oh, wait, he doesn't, like, <laughs> he started off doing... Say my name. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, we're just visual, man. We like, we're, all our like, so, it's all about pre, pre-promotion, pre isn't it, and stuff like that, all like building things up. So we've done loads of live sessions, like, we've done, we go to different locations, make sure it's wavy as hell, um, do you know what I mean? And then we've got enough so like a professional videographer, so he's always there to lend a hand, equipment, film it for us, yeah, edit it for us. Equipment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's basically like a a library where yeah, you just, just like check out cameras. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So he helps, yeah, and, and that's really built helped us build the fan base. Do you know what I mean? And then now we're kind of stepping away from that. We're not stepping. We're still doing that like every week. But we've got uh, enough EP coming out, Nike Goff, and then we've got... <laughs> yeah, we were trying to make the name, but yeah, it's Nike Goff, apparently. Yeah. Well, I made it up it a was, while ago. It was your idea, Jesus. I can't really stick on names, like, all my, yeah. well, even all my songs, they're just, they're just songs. <laughs> but, uh, they've got names. <laughs> and then we've got, yeah, we've got a sides coming out now, but we're about reach before revenue now, so okay. we're basically giving everything away for free, we're promoting it on all platforms. We're just trying to get people well, to yeah. listen it seems to like the a, music. A, ver- a very much like sort of modernised way of doing things is very much with exactly what like suits algorithms now, rather than say what was popping five six years ago, which is good. It's good. That, I mean, that, yeah, that's the thing. Like algorithms are good, but they they've definitely screwed up a lot uh, on Insta. Like everything you need to do now is you have to. It, you can post at the right time and stuff like that, but it's all paid promotion and things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, just, it's just a stress, isn't it? More than anything else, yeah. it's just the, the extra effort it takes. Of I can't post this now. I've got to be. I've got to be on my phone in three hours time yeah. to post this at this yeah, precise really. time. Yeah. Like, we've done it before. Nice, yeah, we've done it before where we've posted a picture up at you know nine a.m. just to see what was happening. Yeah. And we maybe get maybe like maybe anywhere between like fifty to seventy likes on a photo. Yeah. So we're not like we're not huge, but yeah. we get a few. <laughs> Um, but if we post something up at 9am in the morning we'll get 15 likes yeah. do you know what I mean and we've still got that audience there so if we do it but it's because of the algorithm yeah. and whatever so it really screws and you also up. when people are looking at their phones there's just so much you have to think about it's yeah. long in general yeah. it's long, it's long. There's, so, there's so much longness about it um, so um, obviously with this this kind of approach which is very as I said very modernised it's very um, in the now um, what are like the kind of um, what have been kind of like the success stories from it like are, do, do you, are there any things you've kind of clocked onto and gone that that works that definitely is something that we're, we're happy with stylization of the videos that's yeah. that that pops yeah because we've got enough to thank for that as well like just making sure that thing, things like a cinematographic is that a word C- cinematic yeah cinematic cinematic yeah, cinematic yeah. cinematic Cinem- Cinem- even though yeah. i said the word wrong yeah all right. <laughs> it is still early my yeah. geez come yeah. on but um just yeah all that sort of thing i mean that's just important like Art in art in general, just having your stylization is important, and Definitely. that's what's kind of helped us. Well, it, well, it feeds into the branding as well, and that, yeah, that's really. like a big part of what of what goes on. Yeah. Um, in regards to like video shoots and stuff like that, what, what where's been like the the most unusual place you found yourself filming? What for what what uh, unusual? Yeah. Didn't we dunk you in Shoreham Harbour a little while oh, back? Yeah, I had to get in the sea, yeah, but I got in the whoa, sea. Whoa, 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 what? What? Yeah. No, I just had to get in the sea, but it was mad cold as well. Yeah, and yeah. It, and there was all these people watching, and then uh, we didn't even really, I don't think I'm going to use Why did you have to well. get in the sea? Oh, I was adamant, bro. Yeah, it was, yeah, Ollie really likes everything about the ocean, so everything, like, yeah. in, if, if you catch all boy. our videos, <laughs> there's a lot of ocean vibes, to be honest, so he was just like, get in the sea, man, we'll film your head in the sea. I just sea. wanted to see him in his boxes, to yeah, be honest. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. it happens quite a lot. But it was mad cold as well, so I didn't really. Is there a time in it when when Brighton? Brighton Seafront or Shoreham Seafront isn't cold. Yeah, like, no. Even in the heart of summer, it's still freezing, yeah, let's be honest. And this wasn't even summer. Actually, it was kind of close to summer, but still, it was freezing cold. <laughs> but yeah, that was one of the weirdest places. Well, yeah. it wasn't weird, but it was just It's just it an, unusual, it's an unusual yeah, scenario. It was just something that I didn't want to do, and they were like, do it. And I was like, I don't want to do it. And do it for the much. love. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're, uh, we're going to move on uh, quickly here, um, because I do, we have uh, a little game we're going to play. Uh, is it ideal or not ideal? Uh, so we're going to list off a couple of things. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's like... <laughs> in the studio right now, you can't see it, but this is, li- this is literally... <laughs> Uh, this is this is literally like uh, musical chairs going on right now. Uh, but yeah, we've got ideal right now. We're Obviously, gonna we're gonna we've run got, from. We've got A sides has just dropped yeah, and the math video has just dropped yesterday as well. So go pre that. Oh, wicked. Um, we're gonna we're gonna play this game called Is It Ideal or um, Is It Ideal or Not Ideal. So the uh, the point of this game is I'm gonna list off a couple of, of scenarios and you're gonna tell me whether it's mm-hmm. ideal or not ideal. So For real? Um, Liverpool's result at the weekend is that ideal? Um, I don't watch football, so um. I'm not too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pick one bag in the middle. That's to idol. The... That's idol. Yeah, that's uh, idol. I D L E. So as well as that, let's do another one. Um, pancake day, ideal or not? Ideal? Pancake day is 100 percent ideal. What do you have on pancakes? I had savoury pancakes. My housemates were ripping, ripping the <laughs> at me, but I've gone for pesto cheese, marmite cheese, avocado, peri peri sauce, yeah. Cause I'm just a bit different with it. That's a madness for it. I had I had a savoury pancake for the first time this okay. year. Okay, would you have in it? I literally just had maple and bacon. That's still savoury. That's, savory. that's savory yeah. in my head. That's savoury in my head. Um, but we'll, 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 we'll sort that second mic out in a second. Um, but yeah, what I uh, I mean, I'm not I'm not big on pancake day to be honest with you. Really? I no, I, I just it represents think... a good thing like giving up things for for Lent, you know. <laughs> yeah. Giving up something. I just you know what it is? I just don't particularly like pancakes. <laughs> yeah. More than anything else. Get out of here. No, I just I just tried to you know the thick ones rather than crepes. Yeah, yeah. I was. I tried to do those things, this yeah, year, yeah. and they, they they're difficult, man. They're diff- they're difficult to get. I'm a sh- I'm a ex chef as well, and I was struggling. Yeah, yeah. Like stuff burning through the whole thing was horrible. Um, right, <laughs> another one. A, uh, it's all a conspiracy to sell Nutella, though, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, works. Next, <laughs> that's very very good theory. Um, so next, is it ideal or not ideal? Um, Eight a.m. start, four p.m. finish. That's I reckon that is ideal. Get up early, go secure the bag, then you've got more time in the evening to meet up with the boys and do a bit of music, yeah? Yeah. So, so it's the earlier start, earlier finish. Yeah, 100%. Rather than a later start, later finish. 100%. Because I've, I've often pondered if I if I could start work at... Because I've never had a job that starts at nine in my, in my entire life. I've never had a yeah, job yeah. that starts at nine, which is like the typical thing. Yeah. I've often wondered if I had a job that started at nine and finished at five, would I enjoy it as much as having a job that started earlier and finished earlier? I think your natural, your, your body wakes up in, you know, with the sun. Yeah. So like with a nine to five, it's all good having that little bit of an extra laying. But when you get to like 3 p.m. onwards, you start you start lagging. You yeah. start needing to neck off loads of coffees and, mm. and uh, yeah. Uh, what, one bad. final one. Coffee, ideal or not ideal? 100% ideal. Coffee, ideal. Coffee, obviously. Four or five a day. Got to keep, got to keep, <laughs> <laughs> got to keep yourself absolutely <laughs> Keep the pep up, in it. <laughs> <laughs> Waking up Brighton. Breakfast with Cobb Colvin.